from a Chinese perspective, it's not surprising at all that the gemstones have such powerful effect. The gemstones radiate not only the earthly essence, but the heavenly essence as well. Throughout history and within many cultures, there have been cases documenting the use of gemstones for medicinal purposes. Recently, I have spoken to a Chinese scholar who talked about in ancient China how the emperors had people whose sole purpose was to prescribe gemstones for health and longevity for them. And literally every day they would suggest which gemstone is the right gemstone for the emperor to wear in relation to the time of the day, the seasons and so forth, and the condition of the emperor. What I've seen is that the ancient Egyptians, the Mayans, the Indians, in every ancient cultures there was uh, widespread use of gem gemstones for the treatment of emotional and spiritual and physical disorders. One of my favorite gemstones to work with is rhodochrosite. The mission of rhodochrosite is to help bring to awareness emotional habits that we have, and not only that, but to demagnetize our responses so that we have more freedom of choice about how we want to respond emotionally in a situation. Now what I found when I was working personally with rhodochrosite was that it helped me, assisted me, in learning how to break up habitual emotional responses, particularly in relationships and in partnerships. It gave me freedom to make other choices that were healthier and healing. But I found that the Roselle necklace is wonderful for soothing and calming and help breaking up patterns in our emotional body which are causing us pain, which are causing us grief, which are causing us to suffer. And, and the Roselle does that by gently massaging and, and kneading and just gently taking these emotional patterns and slowly pulling them apart and breaking them apart and soothing them and touching the ends and kind of giving them a nice gentle energetic uh, healing. I've been studying martial arts for about eight and a half years now. I've been teaching for about three and a half to four years. Basically if it has anything to do with fitness, movement, physical activity, I really enjoy doing it. So when Michael Katz started telling me about green tourmaline and the properties around that, I figured I didn't have anything to lose, so why not try this? It was something that could definitely help me in my training and my physical fitness levels, so I was open to it. I've tried a number of different modes of training, a number of different diets, a number of different activities, and through this process of using green tourmaline, this has been the single most effective jump in my training levels that I've ever experienced. We are really just entering the time now for people to start using gemstones therapeutically on a large scale. And this has been reflected in changes that have happened in society worldwide. Now, the big change that has happened is moving from metal-based technologies. Throughout history, we've had the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and then the Industrial Age and the Electronic Age. Now we're into the information age, and the technology in this case is now based on, guess what, a gemstone. It's based on quartz. And uh, all the information is stored in the quartz. We know, I mean, there have been legends throughout history about how you can do this, and now all computer science is based on this phenomenon. I have seen, when I'm with people who are wearing therapeutic gemstones visibly or myself, that people are coming up to us all the time asking, what is this for? Does this have any therapeutic benefit? And they are open and excited and deeply interested, whereas eight or ten years ago where the same people were walking around with the necklaces, people didn't say a word. So there has been, it's like the door has swung wide open and people are just very interested in these therapeutic tools. Call Gemisphere at 1-800-727-8877 for a free consultation to help select the therapeutic gemstones that are best for you. 
to see all the therapeutic gemstones, read about their missions, and to learn more about Gemisphere and its books, videos, workshops, trainings, and catalog, please visit us at www.gemisphere.com. Please continue watching this show to see images of the therapeutic gemstones mentioned in this video.